in this video, we're going to be talking about osmosis. Now, osmosis is a type of passive transport that's going to specifically look at the movement of water in and out of a cell membrane. Because it is passive transport, we know that it is not going to use any energy, um, so no energy. is going to be required and we see that um, water is going to flow from a high concentration to a low concentration. So this is going to um, be moving across the membrane with no energy. Now when we're looking at the movement of water, there's three different types of solutions that we can have a cell in and we can see water moving either into the cell out of the cell are moving equally back and forth across the cell membrane. In our first type of solution, let's go ahead and make this a hypotonic. Now if we're just looking at our roots here, we know that hypo means less than or less. So when we have our cell in the beaker here, um, we're going to see that there is going to be less solute outside of the cell than inside of the cell. The example that we used in class was with salt, and I think we used the triangle symbol to represent salt, and then we used a circle to represent water. Now, if we want to make a solution less salt outside than inside the cell, um, we're only going to put a few salt molecules outside, but we're going to see there is a lot of salt inside the cell. Now, opposite water, we see there's very little water molecules inside the cell, but there's going to be a lot of water outside the cell. I'm going to put a lot of circles here. Now, if we're looking at the um, concentration of water, it is much higher outside than it is inside the cell. So we see using no energy, water is going to diffuse across this membrane and it's going to flow from a high to a low concentration. So we see that the cell is going to swell. Um, if we see water keeps moving into the cell and moving into the cell, eventually this could cause our cell to burst. When that happens, this is called cytolysis. Cyto meaning cell and lysis, lyse is to break down. So our cells are going to be breaking down um, in a hypotonic solution. Now if we look the opposite of this, we have hypertonic. And hyper means more than. So we're going to see more solute outside the cell than inside the cell. So I'm going to keep using the same symbols here. We're going to see there is a lot of salt outside of the cell. And I'm putting lots of triangles here to represent the salt. And there's only a little bit of salt inside the cell. Opposite of that, we have very little water outside the cell, but there's going to be a lot of water inside the cell. So we see flowing from a high concentration inside the cell, water wants to flow out. And that's exactly what we see when a cell is placed in a hypertonic solution. So if the water is going to flow out, this will cause our cell to shrink. So hypo, less solute outside than inside. Hyper, more solute outside than inside. Now, we have one more type of solution that we can see our cell in, and this is called an isotonic solution. And we know that our root iso means the same. So we're going to see the same concentration of salt outside as we do inside of our cell. So I'm just going to go ahead and put four salt molecules outside. I'll put four salt molecules inside. And we'll do the same with our water. We'll put four waters outside and four water molecules inside. Now, in an isotonic solution, um, we see that there is still movement of water across this cell membrane because it never stops. Water has this kinetic energy that keeps it in motion, so we see that as water is flowing in, 
it's also going to flow out, but it happens at the same rate. So our cell is going to remain the same size, which is pretty cool. This is what our cells want to do. So it's going to stay the same.